In the land where foreclosures have for sale signs up, even a new housing developments, for sale signs are going up at businesses. If those places aren't going out of business anyway, and if it isn't for sale, it's everything must go. So what we're doing, we're just unlo unloading a lot of merchandise that we have to get rid of. Al Newman has sold shoes in San Bernardino County, California for almost six decades. We liquidating our inventory down to at least 50% and bringing back less than 25% to hold us. And that's the only way you're able to do it right now. He's bracing for tough times and hoping for survival. So for shopping with us. Uh, my expectations for the next year is going to be about uh, half of what we're doing now. And if he's paring back expectations, so are his customers. Oh yeah, definitely I'm going to start just kind of pocketing money um, at home and in the banks. This is a cycle economist Gregory Hess says began with the boom and bust of housing and then trickled down into the credit markets in this troubled region. They've lost you know, all the wealth that they've got and that just means it's going to drive their spending way down and it means that all the local businesses are going to be hurt. Uh, everything from the people who sell the automobiles, people who sell the big screen TVs. Uh, just look at those ads, those advertisements these days, and those are advertisements of desperation, uh, not of uh, you know price increases. It's an area where many move to achieve the American dream, which they now can't afford. An area where small businesses are struggling to make ends meet. John Moon, the Associated Press, Highland, California.